Hello everybody! Welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain Euclidean geometry, more specifically proportionality in triangles. This is lesson 1 of 11. Let's start with the maths. There is one important fact I want to make you aware of. Triangles on the same base or with equal bases between parallel lines have the same area. Let's start with the first theorem. Remember, you must also know the proof of this theorem for exam purposes. The theorem says a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other sides proportionally. And then the abbreviation that you will use in the exam is line parallel one side of a triangle. Now remember, when we want to prove a theorem, there's a given part. And the given part we find inside the words. And in this case, it is in triangle ABC. D lies on AB and E lies on AC and DE is parallel to BC, a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. What is required to prove? Uh, the word says uh, it divides the other two sides proportionally. Now that translates to the required to prove is AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. Can you see the sides in the same proportion? And now we also need a construction. And our construction is draw altitudes H and K for the altitudes of triangle ADE relative to bases AD and AE. We will also join DC and BE. And now we can start with the proof. So we will start by saying in triangle ADE, the top triangle, and triangle BDE, that's the yellow triangle there we can say the following. The area of triangle ADE is equal to half times base, and we make the base AD times the perpendicular height, which is H in this case, over, and then the area of the yellow triangle BDE is equal to half times and we choose DB, the base, times, and the yellow triangle's height is also H. And then we can say that half and half will cancel, and H and H will cancel, since it's the same height. And we left with the ratio AD over DB. Furthermore, we can say, in triangle ADE, that's the top triangle, and triangle CDE, that's the green triangle. We can say that the area of triangle ADE is equal to half times, and then we choose AE to be the base, times K, the perpendicular height, over, now the area of the green triangle, Triangle CDE is equal to half times EC times K. So we choose EC to be the base and then K will be the altitude or the height. And they have the same height K. Therefore, we can say half and half can cancel and K and K will cancel. And then we are left with AE over EC. So now we can say, but the area of triangle BDE, that's the yellow triangle, is equal to the area of triangle CDE, the green triangle. 
And why can we say that? It's because they lie between the same parallel lines. Therefore, we can say that the area of triangle ADE over the area of triangle BDE is equal to this part, area of triangle ADE over the area of triangle CDE. And what do we know? We have that the left hand side is AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. We have proven the, the theorem. Before we continue, have you subscribed yet? And a reminder, you can also visit my website, onlinemats.co.za. The link is in the comments below. There you will find all the chapters in the syllabus. Also, feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the maths. Now, let's discuss the corollaries. First of all, we can also say that AD over AB is equal to AE over AC. And we can say that because line parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides in the same proportion. And we can also say AB over BD is equal to AC over CE. Let's do an example. In triangle ABC, PK is parallel to BC with AP equals 10 centimeters, PB equals 6 centimeters, AK is 8 centimeters, and KC is equal to X. Determine the value of X. Now, since we have PK parallel to BC, we can use the theorem. Line parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides in the same proportion. And we are looking for X, so we will write the ratio or the proportion um, with x the subject of the formula. So we'll do it like this. We will write kc over ak is equal to pb over ap. And why can we say that? The theorem line parallel one side of a triangle. And then we will substitute in kc's place x over AK is 8, PB is 6, and AP is 10. And then multiply away the 8, and we end with X is equal to 4,8 centimeters. Let's do another example. In triangle KLM, PO is parallel to LM. KL is 16 units, KP is 12 units, and OM is 6 units. Determine the length of KO and KM. Now, do you agree we can start by saying that PL is equal to 16 minus 12, and that one is equal to 4. Therefore, PL is 4. Then we can say KO over OM is equal to KP over PL. And now we substitute. Oh, the reason why we can say that is line parallel one side of a triangle. Now we substitute. KO is what we're looking for. Divide over OM is 6 equals KP is 12 over PL is 4. And then we will uh, multiply away the 6 
and we end with ko, ko is equal to 18. And then we are also looking for km. Now, do you agree? km is equal to ko plus om. ko, we calculated, was 18 plus 6 is km is 24 units. Now, the theorem also has a converse. Converse means uh, the opposite. And the converse says, when a line segment divides two sides of a triangle in the same proportion, then the line segment is parallel to the third side. In other words, oh, there's the abbreviation, segment divides sides proportionally. Now, when it is given that AD over DB is equal to the ratio AE over EC, then we can say that DE is parallel to BC. Now that we know that they are parallel, we can say angle D1 is equal to angle B and the reason corresponding angles equal. And we can say that D2 plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees, co-interior angles supplementary. We can also say that E1 is equal to C, corresponding angles equal. And we can say E2 plus angle C is 180 degrees and your reason co-interior angles supplementary. Let's do an example. In triangle ABC, AF is equal to 10 centimeters, FB is equal to 3 centimeters, AG is 15 centimeters, and GC is equal to 4,5 centimeters. We have to prove that FG is parallel to BC. Now, if we can prove that there's a ratio on the one side is equal to the ratio on the other side, then the two lines FG and BC will be parallel. Now, let's start. We can start by saying that the ratio AF over FB is equal to 10 centimeters divided by 3 centimeters and then the centimeters can cancel and we have that the ratio is 10 over 3. Now let's see if we do the same on the other side as in AG over CG CG or GC is 15 over 4,5. The centimeters can cancel and then that is also 10 over 3. Now let me show you why quickly. 15 divided by 4,5 is the same as 9 over 2. And then we can tip in times and it becomes 15 times 2 over 9, which is 30 over 9, which is 10 over 3. So what can you see? That the ratio AF over FB is equal to the ratio AG over GC. Therefore, FG is parallel to BC and the reason line divides sides of triangle ABC proportionally. In the next lesson, I will discuss the midpoint theorem. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.